Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. It's so difficult being Catholic in more ways than one. There is, of course, the struggle to always fight evil within ourselves, to overcome the lure of sin and maintain a right relationship with God. But there is also the struggle to resist being overwhelmed by the catastrophic state of affairs in the church these days. Consider, this past weekend, the usual Christmas Easter crowd of Catholics jammed parishes in their usual semi-annual appearance, and practically to a man, they all went up and received Holy Communion. Now, think about this for a moment. On the greatest holy day in the church, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of sacrilegious Holy Communions were made. And before the Church of Nice supporters start saying, well, you don't know that, maybe they all went to confession. Right. The truly horrible thing here is no one warned them, not the bishops of the diocese, not the priests who distributed our Lord's body and blood, soul and divinity to them, no one. The clergy knows this drill. Many of them are excited to see the collection offerings swell on these particular days. They know there are people in those pews who are in an objective state of mortal sin for deliberately refusing to attend Mass the other 51 Sundays of the year and therefore have no business approaching the altar. And yet they say nothing, nothing. Do they not realize the blood of these people will be on their heads for failing to instruct them? The joy of Easter mingled with the sadness of sacrilege on a grand scale. Those bishops who fail to instruct their clergy in this regard, to have them warn people to stay away and not receive the sacred body and blood of our blessed Lord unworthily, are in for a rude awakening when they die and come before that same Jesus Christ. Why was an announcement not read out in every parish, in every diocese, saying to the effect, do not approach lest you be guilty of the murder of the Lord? You'd just be quoting St. Paul. They have no problem making announcements about immigration. They have no problem making announcements about annual diocesan collections. But on the matters of teaching, they fall completely silent by choice. What are the future priests being taught in seminary these days? Couldn't a parish priest take it upon himself to warn the people? Do they think this is just a nice Sunday morning get-together to feel all warm and fuzzy about each other? They should be saying it at every Mass, every Sunday. Get to confession. Do not come up to this altar to receive our Lord's body and blood until you are in a state of grace. But the emphasis in seminary after seminary these days, is on making the people feel nice and comfortable and friendly and all that, emotion it up, jazz it up. None of that will do them one lick of good when they're being damned and plunging into hellfire. And the errant and silent clergy will have increased their own sufferings when they meet these souls in hell. Do the clergy really believe in hell anymore? Do they not believe that a free will can be exercised in such a way that it can condemn someone for eternity? How did we get here? How is it that so many Catholics in the pews and clergy in the sanctuary can correspond in such a praxis of evil, pretending everything is joyous and wonderful, while souls are tumbling into hell as they pile up sacrilege upon sacrilege? How we got to this point will be the subject of a couple of talks Church Militant will be presenting this coming Sunday and Monday in Southern California on our Radical Catholicism Tour. Those talks will include a dinner on Sunday evening and two additional presentations the following night on Monday. These specific talks will be in Fountain Valley again Sunday and Monday. The details and logistics are all available by just clicking on the link provided. For the past century, the attacks against the church have reached levels as to nearly shake her foundations. Satan has leveled a nonstop assault against the faith in the 20th century like he has never done in any previous century. He began by intensifying his control over the world, and then that spilled over into the church through corrupt clerics. It has been maintained in the church now, even to this very hour, by cowardly clerics who have been so malformed as to have lost nearly all sense of their own Catholic identity. There's only one way to resist and fight back against this, as there has only ever been one way to resist and fight it. And that is for you, not the guy next to you, 
but you to become a saint. And for the record, if you don't die a saint, you cannot enter heaven. You must be in a state of grace, sanctity, sainthood, when you breathe your last, or you are damned by your own free will. It's time to reclaim our Catholic identity. It's time to take the fight to the gates of hell. This is what the majority of Catholics always understood their purpose of life to be up until roughly 50 or 60 years ago. If you're in Southern California, please join us this coming Sunday for dinner and a presentation and or Monday evening for two further presentations. Again, just click on the link for details. Happy Easter and God love you. I'm Michael Boris. 